How's it going guys? Today we're looking at the E major scale in this series of um, looking at these scales. Ultimately these are all the exact same video because um, here we are in the E major scale and like all major scales there are going to be seven notes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then that eighth note is going to be just an octave of the first, which is, in this case, E. So all these major scales are all seven notes, and they all have uh, the same um, distances between them uh, relative to the major scale formula. And so the major scale formula, as we've looked at in previous videos, um, just tells us the distance between these notes here, the, the uh, eight notes here. And so between the first and the second note, we have a whole step, between the second and the third note, we have a whole step. Between the third and the fourth note, we have a half step. Between the fourth and the fifth note, we have a whole step. Between the fifth note and the sixth note, we have a whole step. Between the sixth and the seventh note, we have a whole step. And finally, between the seventh and eighth notes, which brings us back home, we have a half step. So just like we did in previous videos, we're just going to um, figure out what the notes in E major are based on the major scale formula, which is, again, right there, whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, whole step, half step. So the first note is going to be E, all right? And so let's write E right over here. Okay, there's E. And then to get to the second note, we go a whole step from E. So a whole step from E is going to be F sharp. So we're going from E to F up to F sharp here. Let's get a different color. And so here's F sharp. All right, so we know the second note in the E major scale is F sharp. Now to get to the third note in the E major scale, we go a whole step up from F sharp. So we go from F sharp to G to G sharp. So we know that the third note in the G major scale is G sharp. And then we go from the third note to the fourth note by moving, by a traveling a half step. So from G sharp we travel a half step and we find ourselves at A. And A is the fourth of E. And then to get to the fifth note or the fifth of E we go a whole step up from A. And so we go from A to A sharp which is a half step and then another half step and we land on B. And so B is the fifth of E. And then to get to the sixth note in the E major scale, we move a whole step up from the fifth note. So from B, we go from B to C to C sharp. So, and the sixth note is C sharp. Then from C sharp to get to the seventh note, we go another whole step up. So half step, half step, we land on D sharp. And so D sharp. And then finally, to get back to E, we go from D sharp and then we just move up a half step and we come back to E. All right, so that is the E major scale. The E major scale is E, F sharp, G sharp, A, B, C sharp, D sharp, and E. And you don't really have to memorize it. If you want to, you certainly are welcome to. Uh, I know that people uh, have these kinds of things memorized so well that they'd be able to tell you what the sixth uh, degree of the E major scale is, or you know the fifth, the fourth and fifth note of you know A mixolydian or something like that. But you don't really have to. What we've done in this video is we've used the major scale formula: whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, whole step, half step, and we've deduced the E major scale, which is right here. All right. And one last thing we're going to do in this video is construct the basic E major chord, all right? The E major chord, just like all major chords, are just a triad, all right? E major triad. And a triad is just a chord uh, made up of three notes. And the E major triad is made up of the notes 1, 3, 5. And 1, 3, 5 are referring to the note numbers here. So we're just going to come over here and circle E, uh, circle G sharp, and circle B, because E is the first note, 1, 3 is G sharp, 5 is B. 
So we know that the E major triad is E, and I'm going to write a little X here, G sharp, which is right here, and B. So if we played it on the piano, we would play these three notes simultaneously, and they would produce the E major triad, or the E major chord. All right, guys, so that concludes this video. Uh, we saw how to construct the E major scale, or how to deduce the E major scale from the major scale formula. And then we saw how to build the E major triad, one, three, five, uh, from that scale. All right, so I hope you learned something. I'm sure that these videos are going to be overly repetitive, but repetition is good. And I will see you next time.